Welcome back. Now, people often say to me, uh, people say to me, Craig, what is it you do? And I say, well, I, I'm a jerk on TV late at night so that people go to bed feeling better about themselves because at least they're not me. But occasionally, occasionally on this show, I do a little bit of improvisational comedy of a, of a, of a type which was invented by my first guest, I believe. He's a comedy icon, a, a hero of mine, an Oscar-winning actor. He's in a nationwide tour at the moment. Uh, it's called Weapons of Self-Destruction. He's in Santa Barbara on February the 11th, San Diego on the 12th, Phoenix on the 13th and the 14th. Please welcome the wonder that is Robin Williams, everybody! <laughs> Sean Connery's birthday <laughs> and Kate Winslet's back there crying. <laughs> Don't bring that up. I said, put the donut down, honey. <laughs> You're not helping. No. She's back there going, I got a golden glow. I said, oh, honey, you look wonderful. Did you ever, didn't you ever do that with your crazy comedy antics? Yes. Didn't you go a little too far oh, and regret it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've had deaf people go, don't do that again. <laughs> You just did it again. Yeah. You did it again. I'll be getting... Well, I won't get any calls. No. <laughs> See, you did it again. Yeah. I, th I know this is Robin Williams. <laughs> get off. Yeah, stop right there. No, stop it. Stop. Too, the, too late now. Too late now. And the blind guy's going, what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> stop it. Stop it. Look, the only safe... Nice people... to be yeah, here. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> the only safe people... <laughs> Easy boy. No, that's all right. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that bit's all right. The one dog. Yeah. It's the one dog. Yeah, a pretend dog. A is pretend fine. dog's. A pretend cat though is bad. No, it's very bad. <laughs> Come here, kitty. Oh, sorry. Look, if you're going to make fun of someone, make it the Amish. Oh, because they'll never see it. Hey, they don't watch TV. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's why an Amish hacker. It's like a Buddhist terrorist. Who knows? Yeah. Is that... Flippity clop. Flippity clop. Amish members of YouTube, not gonna see it. <laughs> I used to do a thing in Amish drive-by shooting, he goes, Pow! go. <laughs> so, Amish cop, pull over, pull over. <laughs> I've had a few drinks, but the horse knows the way home. I'm very good. Very good to see you, Rob. This, this is so you? nice to be free range again. Oh, Thank you so yes, much. Yes, yes. We, we do it the old old school here. I know it. that we yeah, great. Yeah. There, you know who we had on the show a while back? Uh, Jonathan Winter was on. Oh, the show. Uh, it's great to have Buddha on. Yeah, yeah he's. Uh, <laughs> well, you think we're crazy? John is like, he's nuts. Oh, big time. He's, he's, uh, do you think he you once to... climbed the mast of a ship totally nude? And when the police were waiting and the press were waiting for him, he, they, he came down the mast and they said, Jonathan, do you have anything to say? And he said, Yes. Never land alone. <laughs> so it's like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of work to, yeah. for one joke, though. The oh, climbing the mast, yeah. the cops. Taking off all your clothes, getting on a three-masted schooner. Yeah. Oh, it, it's like, it's it was a three-masted schooner, then. Well, it was... I, well, two that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cold day. <laughs> well, Ian, we're coming about, Tommy. Where are you going now? You do have very good Scottish accent. Well, I've been there a few times. You uh, have, Well, yes. to visit Mr. Billy Conley a lot. Well, yes, of course. It's I great do. when you get further north, it gets to the point where you don't want to get to you know you, know, you eh? <laughs> No, yeah. No, no. What, no. what foot you kick with? What? What no. foot you kick with? What? What foot do you kick with? Ah, oh, yeah. this one. All oh, right, then you're a Rangers fan, then Celtic yeah. Rangers. <laughs> I like the fact that people actually, you know, that you can actually have an instrument that sounds like a cat being sodomized. <laughs> I've never heard the cat being sodomized. <laughs> well, if it did, it would go something like this. <laughs> 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 and now we'll offend all the bagpipes.
Pipers. <laughs> well, don't offend them. Don't, don't offend don't, them. No, no, violence is a sport. Uh, there, in yeah. Scotland, it's yes. foreplay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Brace yourself! No, no, don't do that, Joe. <laughs> no, do not do that, Joe. <laughs> no, no, it's like All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no. Wash no. up, I'm through. <laughs> <laughs> How's love... the tour going? Are you having fun in the tour? <laughs> I love the fact that you've been using puppets, though. It's wonderful. Oh, yeah, no, I like puppets. The you puppets just... are always great. I enjoy, I enjoy puppets. A good puppet is a wonderful thing, you know that. <laughs> well, not like that, I mean... Well, that, well, that's how comedy starts for us. Remember that, Petey? No. <laughs> now, listen, how is, the, how is the tour going? You're back on doing the stand-up. Yeah, I've been out. I did, like, 35 cities. I was in, uh, I did, I was in England mm -hmm. for uh, Prince Charles. I'm not from there. <laughs> All right. I am very sorry, white man. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that one of the... <laughs> But occasionally you were part of it. Yeah, well, I liked going over there to meet girls and do to them what their ancestors did to my country. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and... Oh. You mean, enjoy a nice bit of haggis. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Not the end of the animal, but pretty much everything else. <laughs> we took everything that you'd never eat and put it in a dish. Yeah. And gave it to the people to eat, saying, we eat it. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> You've been on the tour. Yeah, but uh, it, was, it was fun to play, like, I mean, I've been Canada, which was lovely. Yeah, uh, lovely. People, a lot like Canadians. America, but even nicer. They're weird. very polite. They're, well, oh, they're, they're wonderfully polite. They'll do things like, they'll ask you, like, how do you like Canada? Oh, and they no. mean it. Yeah, they do. They're like, are you having a good time? Do you yeah. like Canada? You and know if you said, like, I really don't like it, well, we'll try and fix it, eh? <laughs> you know, they'll change it for you. And they have their own French. They put all the French in one place. Mm. <laughs> Very smart. Very smart. And, and, they're, and they're even Canadian French. They're like, they want to break away from the rest of Canada. Forget we are leaving Canada, we want to break away. But we'd like to keep the cash if we could. Yeah. You know? they're, they're still French. They're you still know, French. They're still we French. know like that. <laughs> Mais ben, je parle un peu de français. Ah oui, un peu de français, c'est nécessaire. En France, pour parler parler français. Beaucoup de fois, pour la tour de France. I love speaking tour de France. France. <laughs> <laughs> Ça suffit maintenant. Uh -huh. It's nice if you try to... I was once in a French... Uh, in Paris. And I was speaking French. I was going, uh, maintenant, je veux quelque chose à manger. And the woman went, I speak English, don't try. <laughs> and I went, oh, I'm sorry. It's amazing how the French were always going, forget you Americans, you bastard Americans. We don't need you, you're crap. The Germans are here. Hello, Americans. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. Bonjour. Yeah. Come on this way. But they're, I mean, they Do you do the stand-up in France? Have you done that? No, I've never done that. Eddie's, you know, Eddie's Eddie, yeah, Eddie. Eddie started out doing, I think it was 10% uh, French, 90%. English, and then by the end of his show, he did 90% French and 10% English, which is pretty amazing. By the end of a month, he was doing a show pretty much all in French. Yeah, but he, a lot, he said a lot of the gags that he was doing, he didn't know what he was saying. He was just, you know... Oh, was, just really like... Yeah, yeah, he was just like, you know... I love him, he doesn't know what he's saying, how yeah. French. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It's very yeah. existential. Well, yeah, no, no. Why, what is comedy but a series of painful incidents reenacted? <laughs> Yeah. You saw the monologue. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they don't smoke anymore, the French. No, oh, no, no. They just let the babies do it. Here, let the... <laughs> I love the fact that Zarkozy's wife uh, had, has slept with Mick Jagger. Yes, I know. My God, she... makes Margaret... Z well, you know, Zarkozy has slept with Mick Jagger. <laughs> then now I have much more admiration. Yes! <laughs> we all slept with, with Mick me. Jagger. I love him! him! Yeah. What? You know you want it. <laughs> Yeah. That was... <laughs> Wasn't it kind of... When they made him a knight, when he yes. became Sir Mick, even yeah. that point, even Nostradamus went, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what's yeah, going on. Yeah, if they made Keith a knight, then that's real. Keith's more than knight. He's like a weekend. They offered it. They offered it. <laughs> they offered a knighthood to Keith Richards? He offered it to him. I knight you, Sir Keith. <laughs> Thanks, Your Grace. Here you go. <laughs> Well, it's really nice to be all right. You know we're out of time. Does that bother you in any way? No, how much money have we raised? <laughs> <laughs> we made the calls. All the way, everybody. We'll be right back. My first guest tonight.
guy is America's greatest living comedian. He's a comedy icon. He's an Oscar-winning actor. He's got an HBO uh, comedy special called Weapons of Self-Destruction. It's available in stores and DVD and an album. You can also buy it in Baker's and in stores where they sell oil. <laughs> Please welcome the legend, the genius that is, Robin Williams! Robin, did you do any hilarious April Fool's jokes? I'm not wearing underwear. Ah! Is that, are you really not? No, oh, maybe. You, you're famously Are you ready, Timmy? Do you have a name for your penis? Oh, I've always had a name for my penis. We have different names, though, yeah. <laughs> Gigantor! <laughs> no, no, no. Tim Carl Bob! No, no, I used to call mine Bobby when I was very young. You serious? Yeah, yeah, Where's yeah. Where's Bobby? Let's play with Bobby. Yeah, no. <laughs> Where are we going, Manuel? We're going to play with Bobby. Robin, you're very hairy. I know, that's why, because I was yeah, yeah. playing with Bobby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, you have a reputation as Peludo, hairy. Perudo, Perudo. Oh, yeah, well, yes, the word from last night. No, Bri no, Perudo. Perudo is brillante. Yeah, brillante, yeah. Can there is, can is mas macho. Que is mas macho. Que is mas macho. Y te es mas macho. Yeah. 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 All right. I, I have no idea what you said. Neither do I, but God bless us all. Ah. <laughs> do you speak Spanish? You, I imagine I, you uh, do. I only to say, how are you? Que paso todo bien? That's all I know. And los huevos rancheros. <laughs> yeah, but you speak... When I asked you if you speak Spanish, you spoke English with a Spanish accent. Which yes, I but that great. is a way to start any language like that. Of course I am agreeing. You say, do you speak French? Of course I do, but I don't do... Right here, I don't speak for you right now. Huh? No. <laughs> what about German? Ja, yeah, ich nicht, nicht, uh, no. No. <laughs> I was once on a German talk show, and this woman said to me, she said, Mr. Williams, why do you think there's not so much comedy in Germany? And I said, did you ever think you tried to kill all the funny people? Yeah, well... <laughs> so... That was like... Hey, guys! Yeah. Can we get, can we get one of those? Can we, can yeah. We, yeah, yeah. I'm already in trouble today, because, yeah, I, I think... When oh, I yeah, you annoyed the Australians. What I, the I, hell's I, wrong I with you? I pissed off the Australians. What why happened? Again? I was on Letterman and I said, Australians are kind of like English rednecks. And <laughs> obviously, Americans. Wait, 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 wait. Robin Williams, hobos. You don't know who. You don't know who, Robin Williams. Or there'll be no chicken for you. New McNuggets for the front row. That's right. But then the Prime Minister of Australia said, maybe Mr. Williams should spend a little time in uh, Alabama before he calls someone a redneck. And now the people in Alabama are pissed off at the, at the Prime Minister of Australia. Oh. Yeah, because the governor of Australia said the people of Alabama are creative, good, hard-working people. So I'm just going to sit back and watch Australia and Alabama go at it. They may, there, could be a, there could be a war. Oh, yeah, there's very little difference between a Bubba and a Bruce. Good luck yeah. right now. I don't know. I to say it was just like, you know, the idea of you take the English accent. Hello, good Hello, to see you. Hello, yeah. You're good to see you right there. And you yeah. take, uh, yeah, hey, y'all, good to see you. And you come on, you go, good day. Uh, nice good to see you right there. Right, yeah. That's why it's more like, you know, you put the two together and it's more like, you know, it's like English, good old boy. I should have said good old boy, but I said redneck and I realized don't use the R word. No. Well, the, the, is redneck's not a, a derogatory term, is it? I, I didn't think it was I, a derogatory term. I don't know till I go down to Alabama and people go, shh, shh, I wouldn't say that again. Uh. <laughs> and the guy in a hood comes going, I know no, where no, you No, 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 that's, that's a completely different no, area, No, Robin. no, that's, that's a different not, area. Yeah, you no. got to cross the Manson-Nixon line and then you get out there. It's like, you get down. And there's a period, you know, people... Danger, danger. Danger, warning, yeah, Will yeah. Robinson, warning! How, how, how are you? How's your heart thing? The Did heart's you, going well. The yeah. cow heart is really... It's Did a you give me your cow heart? Yeah. Could I, could, I, could I tempt you with grass? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet yeah, I could. I could. <laughs> yeah. It will be legal soon. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Well, yeah. that'll be some great ads. Will be side effects may include... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know they're going to they're gonna have all the pot commercials next to all the food commercials. Oh, yes. yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll follow the pot commercial with chocolate. Yeah. Your call. Yeah. <laughs> if you thought Whatever. you enjoyed cartoons before, ta-da. <laughs> I mean, what shows do people that enjoy marijuana watch? Probably this show. There we go. Oh, that, yeah. yeah, I think pretty much everything. I think yeah. be, you, you, once you have one, it's just your head would be like, how are you doing? Huh? <laughs> 
<laughs> See, I think, I think if people will stop taking it when it's legal now, I think they'll be like, well, they'll have to find something illegal now. They'll have to have something, you know, worse to do. Like crystal meth. Oh. Uh, that's a bad... People that take crystal meth look like they're in the French Revolution. Oh, totally. I mean, you know, you know it's like, yeah. how are you? Yeah. I'm good! Yeah. How are you? Really good! I have a contempt for the bourgeoisie! Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Cut off my head, I'm still alive! Yeah. Crazy as a and now we've offended French meth addicts. <laughs> They'll be there going, I, you know, I know where you live, <laughs> but I don't leave my house. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. I, I don't think there's a lot of French meth addicts. Uh, I think it's maybe just the one guy. The one guy yeah. just wandering around France going, I know where everyone is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he can't, you, no, I'm not worried about that. The, the crazy no. things are here. I mean, it's wonderful when you go to I was once in a French toy store, and my daughter was playing with a little ball, and the French woman said, put it down. <laughs> it's a toy store. Don't touch it. We don't play with toys in France. <laughs> Give her a cigarette. Enjoy yeah, this. That's right. Yeah, that's right. read this book. Read this book. You're only two. It's sad. Enjoy your yeah. life. <laughs> it's like French baseball. No one is safe. Why are you worried? <laughs> what, what's going on with your sock there? Oh, oh, I always have on strange socks. This is my, this is my good luck sock, uh, Craig. I put that on there. Well, I worried? don't know why all of a sudden I changed into this accent. Uh, it's quite a good accent. It reminds me very much of an Australian. Uh, yeah. no, uh, you've been to Scotland a few times. Oh, great. I've been there. It's great. You need a translator as you get further north. Yeah, no, it gets... <laughs> but I do, too. When I go to Scotland, the, the further north I get, people are like, I used to get And they said, how are you? Yeah, yeah. It's very, what the, fit you kick me? What, what fit you kick with what what foot do I kick with I when they say when they say that to you when they say what I mean because that translates as what foot do you kick with right they mean what, what club what football club you like like which, Glasgow or Celtic yeah Glasgow Celtic or Glasgow Rangers yeah, but what they're really asking you is what religion are you yeah, yeah right and then, and then say, I'm, not, I'm Jewish look right, right. yeah <laughs> And then they say, is that some sort of Catholic? And then you have yeah. a fight. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's like, it. what are you? I'm some sort of Catholic. Like, <laughs> I'm Episcopal, I'm Episcopal, it's Catholic light. I, I don't know, I think some sort of Catholic sounds like a, that like sounds a, like a, great a lifetime movie. Yeah. You know, some sort of Catholic. Some sort of Catholic. <laughs> Same religion, less pedophilia. Call. <laughs> yeah, 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 right there, right there, yeah. yeah. We can, probably, we can probably cut that out. Right now, you know, everyone for Easter, it's going to be an interesting Easter for the Pope. Everyone else is hiding eggs, he's hiding priests. Yeah, right. <laughs> find the pedophile, find the pedophile, find the pedophile. Where's the pedophile? Find... There we go, pull him around, pedophile, pull him around, pull him around. Oh, there he is. Here's $100,000. Replace the pedophile. Replace... <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, just, just give me a second here, all right? Give me a second. CBS doesn't endorse the views of Mr. Williams. All right, Gary, yeah, you're all right. Uh, before I'm excommunicated, I want to say thank you to all the people who watched me tonight on this show. No, no, you're all right. All right. They'll be fine. It's huh? rough, though, but, you know, the Pope, if this really gets big and bigger and bigger... Well, they get big. It's a pretty big story, right? Yeah, but they he know. can't resign. You know, the Popes don't resign. You know, the, you stay until... You know, it's... <laughs> It's it's true, a, you know, you stay, and even if the Pope had a really severe accident, it becomes Robo Pope at the very, you know. <laughs> pope Stephen would be, welcome to the Catholic no, Church. No, nice I'm to get, have. No, I'm getting a robot next week. A ro are you I, getting I'm a robot? Getting a robot. Oh, I'm getting a robot oh, sidekick. How awesome is that? That's about. A good robot. evening, Greg. Nice to be here. <laughs> welcome to the Fergus Angel. <laughs> Greg will be right out for a monologue, right? <laughs> Someone did not recharge my battery. <laughs> He's got no views at all about the Catholic Church and its current crisis. Robin! None! Hey, you know what I was, I was just saying? When every time I, I talk to you, I'm always... I, I think, goodness, he used to take cocaine. Oh, and I, But the, I had the, the, the effect when I took cocaine was it just... Really? If I had taken cocaine on your show tonight, I'd be like this, going, There's someone out there watching us! <laughs> I'll be right there, Craig, but the ninjas are on the lawn again! <laughs> No, no, seriously, seriously, no. Uh, no. Yeah! <laughs> Meanwhile, the French crystal meth addict is going, that's what my life is. <laughs> crazy, huh? But no, I would get very, just really quiet. It was a, kind of like... 
It's like, I think, know. well, that's what happens to people when they get, uh, people with ADD, if they get stimulants. Maybe you've got the ADD. Well, no, no, what's that? <laughs> oh, look at the kitty. No, um, I think that is that, that idea of when you have that, and the idea of taking something that just turns you the, totally metabolically the other way, like... See, well, when I took cocaine, I got very, very excited and ran around quickly and, uh, <laughs> and drank as much as I could. But then I did that without cocaine. Yeah, me well. too. Yeah. Yeah. You and I both. There's another thing that the Prime Minister of Australia and myself have in common. We both went to the same, uh, the same strip club in New York and don't remember what we did. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he got really drunk and went to this place called Scores, and the next day they said, Mr. Prime Minister, do you remember what we did? No, not a thing. I was just a little larded. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. In Australia, if you say I was drunk, I don't remember that's a legitimate excuse that's a good morning yeah it's like oh it, uh, the prime minister was drunk when i first went to australia i went to a bar and the prime minister was in it you know, it's it like it's like who's the prime minister oh that's bob at the end of the yeah. bar over there <laughs> and it was a guy called bob hawk he's like good day right. yeah, 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 right. can i buy you a nice beer right <coughs> yeah. there don't be afraid they've got the but it's changed in australia now it's all become very corporate oh very and yeah. very very intense obviously don't, yeah, don't use the r word don't say redneck <laughs> Why would they be or or roo roo yeah or roo don't say roo for kangaroo Kang oh for that's a <laughs> don't you call me a roo yeah that's right I'm a deer with a wallet holder no, that's <laughs> I love the fact when you go to Australia they say go pet the kangaroo they're really fun and yeah. if you go up and pet the kangaroo they grab you with their forepaws and then their back paws go bam, bam. yeah 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 no they're very they're and very the angry. Australians go hey you dumb bastard yeah, right yeah, Kangaroos are very, very vicious. And you know the little, uh, the koala bears? Oh, totally. Yeah, but they, they, what happens is that they eat eucalyptus. And they're so stoned. They're, they're eucalyptus. <laughs> but that doesn't work for humans, because I tried it. And, uh... <laughs> and people just go, you smell like a candle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you smell like a scented candle. <laughs> and your poops are like little <laughs> olive things. <laughs> they come wrapped. <laughs> You're like an owl pellet. <laughs> and meanwhile, the koala's going, works for me. You know? Yeah. It's a good day for me, mate. No worries, no worries. So what have, you, have you been out touring then? Are yeah, I did there? 80 cities before I did the final show. So that's it? You're done? You're not going back out and touring? Oh, not yet? for a while. I did that. It was like, once I finished, it was like, take a little time off. Now. Yeah. And, and where are you, San Francisco? Yes, sir. It's a nice little... up there. Oh, it's gorgeous. They got the Mythbusters up there, you know. Oh, that's where they live? Yeah, yeah. They uh, live in a secret hideaway. You're not allowed to go. <laughs> Seriously? They, yeah, they, because people that enjoy Mythbusters are kind of crazy. Uh. So... <laughs> Did you ever watch that show? Oh, I love that. When oh, they do, they sing like, you know. They just blow it up. up. Yeah. It's awesome. You can circumcise yourself with a water pick. No, you yeah. can't. I, I mean, it started off, that it used to be right at the beginning of the myth was, can you get a toothpick into a cup? And it was like really cheap myths, yeah. and now they got some money. It's like, can you blow up an entire city in one afternoon? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's people watching in other parts of the world going, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Let's... Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch it. Yeah, yeah it's like, oh, you're right. What are you watching? I'm just watching Mythbusters. Yeah, that's right. You've got to be careful with all that. Oh, very much so. It's yeah, crazy yeah, stuff. No, no, you don't want to. You do know, all the, that. the underwear bomber, the, and the next will be the toupee bomber. You know. <laughs> don't you give them ideas. Oh, oh, sorry. They're because they, you know, they could have you a large, admittedly some gentleman. <laughs> with, what are you he's doing? He's got strangely fabulous hair. <laughs> Who is that guy? No one. <laughs> Even Donald, I think Donald Trump's hair is actually another creature. Yeah. The hair's like going, good night, Donald, good night, Donald, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it goes out, it, it goes out and makes money while he's asleep. Yeah. Donald goes to sleep and the hair's going, keep investing, keep investing. <laughs> and then it comes up, think big kick ass, think big kick ass. Wake up, wake up, wake up now. Yeah. Would you ever go on that uh, Celebrity Apprentice show? That Only if I'm desperate, no. I, yeah. <laughs> You'll be all right. Well, that's, you have to be a little bit... Uh, I, I think so, the idea of going, that celebrity... The one that is interesting now is the one about the boss going undercover, which is... I like that show. That's actually a very interesting show. Yeah, the, when they really do, it's like, you kind know, of reverse thing, and it's been interesting to see the boss actually go, so this is what it's like, kind of yeah. fun, and that's... Yeah, well, would you ever do that? Would you ever switch places with... The with myself? For, for me? <laughs> I mean, because I'm like, you know, a lowly, late night, not really late night, kind of public access guy. Yeah, but, and you just, you're... but you just won a Peabody. This man has won a Peabody Award. And now, to present the award, here's Bob Peabody. Hi, Craig. I'm Carl Peabody. Nice to see you. Oh, my God. Is this it? This is scary. Yeah, that's it. That's a Peabody. 
This year's golden snake. Yeah, there's the golden snake. You know, you can get... Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, that sounds like, uh, I am looking for full lesbian sex and a golden snake. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a couple of Republicans going, no, I didn't do it. I didn't. No, no. <laughs> Cost you extra for the golden yeah, snake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now we go Australia again. Yeah. Do you want a golden snake? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you wouldn't do that, would you? No, no, no. no. So, talk show, my God, boss, I could never do that. This is a tough gig. No, uh, no, it's As right. we've seen, as one young man has already gone the way of ways. <laughs> Poor Conan out there wandering the streets with $38 million. <laughs> Suffering through life, going on without us, but yet Conan's gone. Jay's back. It's as bit as the time has changed. You're on your own, pal. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> yeah. It's like... You will not join in that slugfest. No, yeah. no, no. I can't. I think that, you know, I, I, I think they were all very embarrassed by all that. Oh, it's it's a shame. Shame. it was very strange. Saying. It's a bit like a, some weird, it's like a drunken blackout where you wake up going, wasn't there a talk show? No. Yeah. <laughs> where is he? I don't know. He's gone. Yeah. <laughs> And Jay's back, I'm back on the air. Oh, okay, good night, good night. Thanks for playing. I think it's a bit like, in, you know in Goodfellas, when Joe Pesci gets whacked, he goes, where is he? And they go, oh, he uh, went away. Yeah. yeah. He went away. And then you can't talk about him anymore. Yeah. He went away. Okay. He went away. Yeah. That's how the network works. Where is he? He's gone. No, 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 he's gone. He's gone away. I don't know. He went, yeah. Wouldn't it be, thing. be great if the networks were like Goodfellas, where they go, <laughs> how you doing? Your show's canceled. Good night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. We're out of time. Robin Williams, everybody. Thank you. tonight is a comedy icon. He is a legend. He's adorable. He's fantastic. He's a... I'm fond of him. He's a... He's an Oscar-winning actor. He stars in Happy Feet 2, which is in theatres now. Take a look at this. <laughs> the beautiful Robin Williams. Sensational! Look at you. You got the, that fancy shoes. No laces. None at all. No laces in your shoes. I'm an older man now. It's much easier. <laughs> Velcro. I <laughs> are. What is this madness? You can't walk around like that. What if you have to do something quickly? Uh, no, you do it slowly. Huh? You oh, slide you can... around in your little slippers. <laughs> Congratulations oh, on yes, getting married. Sir. That's lovely. It's I, wonderful. It's yeah, a, it's very nice. Getting married for the third time, my best man Bobcat said it's like bringing a burn victim to a fireworks show. <laughs> Did he say that during his speech? Yes. I God think. bless him. God Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Everyone in the room goes, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, that, that, that's lovely. I've been married. I've, I'm on my third. On your third? Yes. Yeah, three strikes, you're out. That's it. Yeah. I wouldn't do it again. I see it. Oh, no, if you do it again, that you have to give up a body part. That's <laughs> How many times have you been married, Bill? Four times. Four times. It's like, no, no, third, that's it, three, that's it. Three, no, me, me too, that's I'm, it, I'm done. Yeah. In fact, I wouldn't have done three, but it was just I met this person and went, well, okay, but only this one. Yeah. Which I believe that's the way you're meant to approach it the yeah. first time. Yeah. <laughs> only this one, maybe. Maybe. Do you take this woman as often as possible? Yeah. <laughs> but so does honey, you part... Uh, yeah. yeah. Ah! I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's hard to act, and on the honeymoon, it's hard to act surprised, like, oh, wow. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Do, do you find acting surprised <laughs> helps during the <laughs> Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> a vagina, a vagina! Oh, my God! Oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> and it, the gift that keeps on getting. <laughs> It look, you look great, though. I Thanks, mean, you bro. look very stylish and like a man who's a good woman has taken a right good hold of you. Yeah. <laughs> You've got your hair cut, your, yeah. your, your socks match, everything's working. Uh, Cleaned up your act. You'd either get married or go to court. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, this, you, you're right. She picked all the clothes. It's no, like, and you look great. It's sensational. And you're going around the world doing the, the Happy Feet Penguin Yeah, thing. Pim pimping the penguin. Is yeah. Funny. Are you doing a big world tour for her, then? You going all the way? All the way. We go from uh, tonight I fly to London and go there and talk about the tonight? penguin. Tonight? Tonight I fly to London. Oh, the guy's going, yeah, wow. Yeah. yeah, wow, yeah. Once you get over the language barrier, yeah. it's okay. 
<laughs> yeah, wow. Another guy. Okay. That was wow. the guy. Wow. That guy coughed. Yeah. That was the guy. That, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Loudon, yeah. wow. Yeah. <laughs> you sarcastic bastard. Ay, caramba. Wow. <laughs> hey, I just came from Paris. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we went to Paris for the honeymoon. That was. Ooh, that's nice. We had the, I had the honeymoon suite at Notre Dame. That must have been a surprise. Yeah, come up here. We go right now. <laughs> Don't be afraid. If you need anything, just ring the bell. <laughs> but it was so great. I mean, Very romantic. Restaurants in Paris are wonderful. I went to a tiny little restaurant. It had five tables. At one of the tables, there were two couples and a cat sitting eating dinner. <laughs> Even the cat's going, try the mouse. It's fabulous. <laughs> it's crazy. And then at the end of the meal. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Did you ever smoke when you were in Paris? Did you ever smoke? No, I never smoked. Um, mm, um, you mean cigarettes, yes. No, I never smoked. I, uh, Is that marijuana on your tie? Maybe. <laughs> I, blue I mean, marijuana on your tie? Someone blew marijuana on my tie. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered why I was hungry. <laughs> Just, uh, have you got some kind of free the hemp sisters or something? Free the hemp. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I got. I can't smoke pot because the moment I smoke pot, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> you know, it's like a leper giving a facial. It's a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> I. <laughs> it's a joke. It's right a joke. Now, it's a joke. Right now, there's yeah. some leper going. <laughs> I'm horribly offended. Do you guys know me afraid? Yeah, I, I, no, no, no. I don't no. think leprosy affects your voice. So. <laughs> oh, maybe. Am I? Am I uh, maybe. You okay? <laughs> oh, Rob and Dawn. We were doing so well, we hadn't offended anybody until you came here. And, and now we... Do you worry about that? Oh, big time. Really? Oh, I've had it happen all the time. You well, know, people get mad at you for just... Oh, you say something, and then with now with the internet, somebody will come up and go, Dear Mr. Williams, you know, it's like, bingo. Well, I know. You have to be very... You've done it. I, I've done it. The only, the only thing that I... The, the only safe place to go is Nazis. <laughs> Well, I actually was on a German talk show once. This is very true. I was on this German talk show, and this woman said, Mr. Williams, why do you think there's not so much comedy in Germany? And I said, did you ever think you tried to kill all the funny people? Yeah. So it's like... Uh, but... Not a joke! Not a not joke! A joke. Oh, they have a telethon every year, Waldheimer's Foundation. <laughs> I seem to have forgotten everything before 1945. Yeah. <laughs> But she didn't bat an eyelash, she just went, no, and at that point I went, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's dangerous. Well, see, everybody thinks they're funny, though. Everybody thinks they've got a sense of humor. That's the problem. Even people that don't have a sense of humor, they go, that's not funny. You go, yes, it's funny. And they go, no. No, 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 no. no. no I'm, I know funny, I'm German. Yeah. 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 Knock, knock. We asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> So you go to, you go to London tonight. That would be nice. Yeah, it's a yeah. long flight. You get there. I love it when you get off the plane in London. The English paparazzi are always there, going, "Wobbin, hello, Wobbin." I went, "When did Elmer Fudd land here?" Yeah. <laughs> hello, Wobbin, 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 Wobbin. We are hunting Wobbin. We're going after Wobbin William. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if Shakespeare had a lateral L? If Shakespeare had an impediment, speak to speech, I pray you, <laughs> as I pronounce it, so you trip me on the tongue. Alas, poor young. Yeah. I look forward to your angry speech impediment thing. It's just a joke. We're just messing around. We don't mean any harm by it. Angry Shakespearean speech impediment actors, please call this number dialing at the bottom of the screen. Thank you. Yeah. What after that? Uh, London, Australia, oh, New Zealand? Australia, eventually we'll go really? to Australia. Oh, so that's in a week. Come home for a couple of days and then go to Australia. Is your wife going with you? Oh, I don't think so. I have to stay home and take care of the kids there, right there, don't oh, we? Oh, right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. When, when, when did you get married? What day is it? <laughs> Pretty recently. It yeah, like it well, was after like a honeymoon, I'm a little low on protein. I hear you. <laughs> did you have to go to... Did you have to go all the way to protein? <laughs> well, you could have just been up a little tired of protein. <laughs> you have to go to protein. I'm a little tired. But I'm running low on fluid. <laughs> when you hit 60, everything... What have we got left? Yeah. Give me some mucus, anything. <laughs> we ran out of sperm. Let's go, people. Blood, urine, let's go. And go north. Let's go. If you're offended by that, there's another number falling at the bottom. I like it when you're here. I can relax. <laughs> you know, it's a bit like a Tourettean hotline. <laughs> is there a thing? Is there like a positive Tourette's? I know sometimes in the, the negative Tourette's, like people say things like, <laughs> yeah. But is there a positive Tourette's where someone goes like, those pants are slimming? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> You're very attractive! Yeah. It's a joke. Uh, positive to rich people are... Uh, yeah, right, they'll uh, be going, like... I really enjoyed that. <laughs> do you think that, when Thanksgiving's coming up, do you think that's the rapture for turkeys? <laughs> that every year they go, get ready. <laughs> Some of us are leaving. And then the ones who don't get taken up are like, ah! <laughs> well, they're like that anyway, so yeah, it's yeah, all right. 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 <laughs> so you're going off to London to do the happy... Did you enjoy the Penguin movie? Did you have a oh, nice time? Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. It's in 3D, which is... Oh, that's the... Life is like that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing you don't want in 3D, as of yet, I don't want to watch 3D porn. No, I've seen it. Have you? I have seen Whoa! it. Wow! Yeah. It, it's... Like, it's a... yeah! yeah. <laughs> no, you know what happened to me? I was like, whoa, a vagina? Yeah. Robert, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Robert Williams, everyone. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with uh, Robert Williams, and uh, we were talking about we we're talking about 3D vaginas. I think we were <laughs> coming to a theater just or just. Hey, get up, man. Yeah. Can you say that? Yeah. Make, He's make... Robin Williams. <laughs> let him say it. Yeah. That's it. No. no you On behalf can't. of the United Cunning Linguist Society. <laughs> talking in tongues before everyone knows. No. <laughs> so, uh, what are you going to you going to stay in San Francisco then? That's your oh, yes, town, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, it's nice. Riding the bike there. Just... We had a nice time when we were up there, Yeah, it? it was good times. Yeah, uh, me, you and Bobcat, we went for a nice cup of coffee in one of them places. <laughs> yes, uh, one of those lovely times, yes. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was good, yeah. Uh, yes, really. Hey, you know... <laughs> Why do we become English? We go, oh, yeah, oh. That. <laughs> I remember how they were there. Yes, yes, it's very good. Well, I rather enjoy <laughs> being English. Yeah, I do too. There, a little rum sort of me in the lash. Two out of three isn't bad, really. <laughs> I enjoy a bit of rum. <laughs> so I guess that just leaves the lash and sort of me for me. <laughs> Whatever you prefer. <laughs> Oh, oh, did you ever? Were you ever a fan of Peter Cook? I loved. Peter oh, he was Peter. amazing. He was fantastic. He was. He was very. Love that one sketch. I, I wanted to be a lawyer, but I didn't have the lining. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I like he, he did that Derek and Clive stuff. They oh. said they said words that you you. Uh, he would be very upset. If we oh, it'd words. be rough. Yeah. Uh, one time I was in the old days, in the kind of the crazy days. It was three o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden here, I opened the door. It's Peter Cook. He goes, "Hello, Robin. Time to go out now." <laughs> And at the, in those days, he went, mm -hmm. yeah. it's, Peter, it's Peter Cook. You've oh, got to yeah. go. Like, I went round to his house once in London. The first time I met him, I knocked on the door. It was 10 o'clock in the morning. I was going to have a business meeting with him. And I heard on the intercom, he said, Come in, breakfast is in the fridge. <laughs> The, I went to the kitchen, it was like a big uh, whole tall house, and he was at the top of these stairs wearing just a robe. I could see his junk. Peter Cook's junk! And he said, I repeat, breakfast is in the fridge. And I opened the fridge door, and there was one can of hard cider. <laughs> well, that's an alcoholic brunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that day we, we had oh, quite the God. breakfast. It went on for about a week, that breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> That's the movable feast part oh, two. Man. Oh man, yeah, he was great though. Was oh. that one of your heroes, Peter Cook, or your Big other time. comedy heroes? Oh, Spike Milligan, Peter yeah, Cook. Yeah, yeah, Spike Milligan. Good oh. lord, yeah, he was crazy. Big time. Yeah, tried to kill I Peter Sellers with a spoon one time. Did he? Well, went after him. I guess they were having it. Something went wrong. He went, "I'll kill you." But first, I'm gonna dish a little bit out. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, Peter, Peter Cook, Dudley Moore. Oh God, Spike, Peter Sellers. Oh. They're all British, these comedians. Oh, but I'm, I'm, no, we'll go American. Jonathan Winters, the yeah, best. Oh, yeah. Jonathan's been here. Oh, has he? Oh, yeah, the best. Yeah. I called him up the other day, and I went, uh, how are you? He went, oh, God. <laughs> well, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Well, what do you want? I'd love it if you sent a suitcase full of singles. <laughs> Which brings me to what we can do now, because we're done. What do we do? Well, we'll do the big cash prize. Oh, you, 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 you just got married. You probably need some money. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Thank what you. We'll do we'll do the, we'll do big the, cash prize. Yeah, the big cash prize. Is it 50 bucks in singles? In singles. Oh, oh what do you man. Think? You want to try it? No, this is like the old days. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You get to roll them out. No, no, okay. No, no, okay. You do, if you win them, all you have to do is you have to have one question you have to answer correctly. Okay, great. And if you get it, great. You get the $50, which I would suggest, in order to uh, placate the audience, is to make it rain, as the kids say. Make it rain. Make it rain. 
All right. If, if, if Robin doesn't win the money, it will not be raining. <laughs> so look at the guys over there going, and you can't go to London. Yeah. <laughs> and there will be no Christmas. Yeah. For you. None for you, little Tom yeah. Scratchit. Yeah. Please, You'll have to work up the chimney on Christmas Day. Yeah. No, sir, no, don't be afraid. There's labor laws now. <laughs> Let's have the other leg off, young. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> the other leg off. <laughs> Excuse me, I caught a cough from a guy in the second row. <laughs> what time is it, Shadow Stevens? It's time for the big cash prize. Yeah. All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Yes. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. Would you say the famed Sydney Opera House is a fine example of modern architecture or postmodern architecture? Hmm. <laughs> I would say a fine example of postmodern architecture. Make it rain! If you're a turkey and you're watching this show, who's that? <laughs> Who's that at the door? Robin Williams! What the hell? <laughs> oh, Robin Williams! What a surprise! Wow! Robin! Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas, Robin, but it's Thanksgiving. Robin, I don't know what you're doing here. Outright, knock it off. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing here. You were here just last week. Uh, yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I decided, oh, you know what? Let's go back. All right. Well, did you have a nice time in London? Because I know that's where you were headed. Yes. It was, it was fabulous. <laughs> or as they say there, brilliant. Oh, they do say brilliant for oh, everything. They say don't actually, they? actually brilliant. Yes, they do. <laughs> I see you picked up their habits. Yes, sir. Uh, so long, Robin's dentist. <laughs> God bless us all. God bless us all. That's <laughs> all work for you. That was, uh, <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Terry Thomas School of Acting. <laughs> to ter Terry, I loved Terry oh, Thomas. Oh, he's always a he, he, I loved it when he said, he was, he said, you're Jerry, as you're an absolute char. <laughs> Oh, an absolute shark. Get in the back of that van. You've, be, you've behaved abysmally in this war. It's amazing, too, with all those war movies where they always had the German to add English accents. So, open for an hour. <laughs> but they do that in, in Rome as well, when it's like Roman... Um, oh, yeah. Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Oh, Brutus, come here for the not knowing my name and calling me thus. We shall go there. Stand behind me, gentle friend. <laughs> they never had, like, a really hardcore Italian Caesar go, what are you going to do right now, huh? <laughs> Yeah, right there. Hey, yeah. Hey. All right. We're just doing the emails, would you? All right, well, yeah. All right, take me through that. Uh, this is from Dean in, in Detroit, Michigan. You ever been to Detroit? Uh, I lived there for many years. Did you really? My dad was in the automobile industry. Oh, he was not. Yes, he was. <laughs> Hence the cars every week. <laughs> We moved back and forth between Detroit and Chicago, but carry Did you on. really? Yes, sir. Did you really? Yes, sir. I'm very excited. Let's talk even higher. <laughs> so that only dogs can hear us. Yes. And eventually there'll be one person coming in. This is hi, Craig and Robin. That's amazing that they knew that you were going to be here. I didn't know you were going to be here, but look, here it is. Right <laughs> and Robin. Now, yeah. Yeah, Craig and Robin, right there. Addendum. Uh, I made friends with a guy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sitting next to me at a hockey game recently and exchanged numbers to hang out. <laughs> is there ah, the old puck sucker game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything wrong with a man? There's nothing wrong with it. Not at all. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, if, yeah. You know, if you're gay, you're gay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. There's no right or wrong to it. Right? Not at all, Don't son. No. This is from Sean in Atlanta, Georgia. You ever been down there, Atlanta, Georgia? Been down there many times. You know, the devil, the devil went down to Georgia. When really? What happened? The uh, devil went down to Georgia. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Devil went down to Georgia right there. The <laughs> Devil went down there, had some fried food, and went, Crikey. I'm going back to hell. Yeah. <laughs> Dear uh, Craig and Robin, uh, my mother surprised me by driving me in for Thanksgiving, but my wife can't stand her. Uh-oh. <laughs> How do I ease holiday family tensions? I always pray for heroin. I don't know what wrong. What do you think? Ron? Well, there's an old, an old Georgia tradition is a big bottle of Jack. Yeah, it's much the same uh, yeah. effect, you know. Yeah, the, and then basically after a little while, all of a sudden, Mama's like, <laughs> yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, Mama. God bless. You. And then to add to that, the tryptophan from the turkey. Tryptophan? Oh, that, that, ah. that, that's the good stuff. Yeah. You should sell that street corner. Hey, gobble, gobble, gobble. gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Turkey junkies. Yeah, go. Turkey. Yo, man, I giblets, got stuff man, in. Giblets, I got giblets. giblets and tryptophan. Yeah. And I got sweet potatoes in the back. <laughs> Don't be afraid right now. You know, once I was walking through when they used to sell uh, drugs in Tompkins Square Park in New York for it was hipsters and their prams. There used to be uh, there used to be a guy that like everyone else was selling Sensamelia, but all these guys going Sensamelia, Sensamelia, Sensamelia. But there was one guy in a bright orange jumpsuit and a green clown wig and go acid, acid, <laughs> acid. Take it out. Had no effect on me. Right. Step into another dimension. <laughs> Acid right here. Acid. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Look on the back. <laughs> uh, Sarah in Rock Springs, Wyoming. You ever been up there? Like to go fishing up there, do you? Uh, no, I haven't been up there right there. I'm always afraid I'll end up on a river and somebody going, hey, pretty boy. <laughs> you are pretty. You're, you're prettier since you got married. You know that? You, I mean, you, have, you, got, you, you always had the sparkly eyes, but now, you, now you're... Uh, I guess it's the it's the it's the unattainable thing makes you even more attractive. The old hand signal don't go anymore. The moment you do that, reap this goes into witness protection. Yeah, yeah. That goes into the, goes into the other dimension right there. Too late now. What yeah. a manual override! Manual override! <laughs> Anyway, uh, Sarah in Rock Springs, Wyoming says, Dear Craig and Robin, uh, my friends and I are forming a punk band but can't agree on the name. What do you think you should call ourselves? <laughs> is it an all-girl band? Uh, yeah, let's say it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's yeah. say it is. Let's For say the it. sake of argument. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to fight with you. If it's a, if, no, if, no, 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 you, you were in a punk band. Yes, yes, but they were, we, there weren't any girls in my... But Well, you know, there was no... <laughs> How about Chlamydia? <laughs> That's good. It gives you kind of... It's, it's Greek, but at the same time, slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> Do you know, I went to, uh, very recently I was no. in a bar in Scotland, in rural Scotland, and I went, and I went, into, I went into the restroom and there was a sign up, right, one of these uh, public announcement signs in, in the bar, and, and it showed, teen, it was a drawing of teenagers dancing, and, it, you know, about to have sex, and it said, everyone's out and about, including chlamydia. <laughs> Your dad's here. <laughs> he fucked the van out back. We didn't know. I saw it in a medical dictionary and I named you. Where's your sister gonorrhea? Get over here, girl. <laughs> Chlamydia. Chlamydia everywhere. <laughs> I just said, she's out and about and going in there. What's oh, having you good down there? <laughs> Chlamydia. This fall. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, this, <laughs> this is so that I hope that helps. Uh, this is from Denise in Orlando, Florida. Uh, you ever been down there? Yes, sir. Sure. All right. Uh, the, dear Craig and Robin, my boyfriend and I made a special tape together. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> but we broke up a few weeks ago. How do I get it back? Send it here. Send. <laughs> send it here. Care of Craig and Chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> A special tape. Oh, wow. Everybody's out and about. Yeah. <laughs> Including <laughs> chlamydia. <laughs> Hot out. The last thing you hear is this. <laughs> you, mate. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> My God, his trousers got pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Uh, this is from Tonya in Charlottesville, Virginia. I don't know if you can tell, but Tonya's a tit. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. Boys and girls, that's a bird. And a woodpecker is too. Unless you're a puppet. 
And so is a cock. <laughs> it's a bird. And they both crow. <laughs> but, I'm done. All right. Uh, <laughs> but you don't go into a bar looking for a rooster. I can have a. Or you walk out with... <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they got it eventually. Yeah. I, said it. I was like, oh, that, and then there they are. And then it landed. They are right there. Whoever he's at, they're right there. They're going to go there. Hey, Craig and Robin, I've been a vegetarian for eight years. Are you a vegetarian? No, sir. Okay. I've but I do have a cow valve, which is kind of weird. I can't, I can't eat meat because it's like I'm one of them now. Huh? And the good thing about a cow valve is I can Crikey. standing up. Hey, I don't have a cow valve, but I can do that. <laughs> you can, but people won't give me the whole noon. <laughs> He's got a cow valve. Well, that's okay, Mr. Williams. <laughs> I don't have a cow valve, but I'm enthusiastic. <laughs> I've been a vegetarian for eight years. My doctor suggested I start introducing meat into my diet. What should I start with? <laughs> if all yours, Robert. All right. <laughs> well, if you're a dangerous person, spam right off the bat. That's kind of getting all the meat products, every part of the cow, in one little box. <laughs> and if your body's still, and if your bowels don't just go bam. <laughs> Oh, they, they'll do it. I'd say go a little easier. Spams, you know, you, you know that's a little much too soon. Oh, no, wait. You can do haggis. Haggis, that's true. Right. Th this is a vegetarian haggis. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. That'll just blow your cheeks apart. <laughs> that's like a... I call her... Chlamydia. <laughs> Aye, that one there. Hey, Bobby, go get me the chlamydia kit then. <laughs> You've got... Did you see? <laughs> Did you say chlamydia, your dad's here? What? Yeah. Did you say chlamydia, your dad's here? Yeah. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. That's the one you don't want to have over the loudspeaker. <laughs> chlamydia, my courtesy phone, chlamydia. Uh, um, yeah, um, no. All right, then. All right, happy Thanksgiving. Robert Williams, everybody. is an American treasure. He's an Academy Award winning actor. He's got a new TV series called The Crazy Ones, which is Thursday nights at 9 on CBS. Take a look at this. <laughs> Robin Williams, Well, well that, that, that's genuine love and affection. That, well, you and Betty White, that's the only two that get it. <laughs> Thank you for putting me in that category. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, you look sensational. I like that you're wearing plaid. Thank you, sir. For you, you bastard. Ah, right. I, 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 you don't know right here. The thing is, your Scottish accent is so good, I don't understand what you're saying. That's how good it is. Right, right. 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 I'm here. Yeah, think of it. Can we give you? I, 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 oh, I, don't use it all. Take a cat, put a finger in its ass. <laughs> Can he say that? Yes. What do you mean he can't say? It's Robert. I can Williams, man. <laughs> do you believe this? You are if a I, racist. If I lick a cat, is it all right to say lick a cat? <laughs> but if I say, uh oh, no. <laughs> okay, good. That's it. You see the kind of hell I have to deal with here it's every the night. The line is cat, yes, feline, feline, and then crikey. No, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's very, very difficult. Can you say cunning linguistics? <laughs> Talking in tongues. I Talking no, in tongues. No, no, we... 
I can see him going. You gotta be you gotta be careful with that. Very much so. You got the Michael Douglas thing. Oh, the whole thing. Yeah. The, oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Made me go back and look at my sexual history, and I thought, whew, thank goodness for that. <laughs> <laughs> look at her vagina going. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so Robin, how's so that point of view? Like, how are we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> How's your CBS sitcom doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to make it look more realistic. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> well, it did. Even the poor guy right now is going, we have nothing so far. <laughs> I think it did look realistic. It said to look a little 70s because of the hair you got there. Oh. You know what I mean? Slightly Brazilian. Yeah, a little bit. So, uh, how's the uh, pre-9 o'clock CBS Pre-9 o'clock, pre-9 o'clock. None of this would fly. So. Yeah, yeah, you'd be all right. No. What were you doing TV? You haven't done TV since Mark and Mindy, have you? Yeah, oh, 32 years ago. Good Lord. Well, that the only was... thing that was wired back then was me. <laughs> oh, I think there was more than you. I think yeah. So. Oh, you were yeah. the one on that show. Yeah, my yeah. idea was just I was on everything but skates back then. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? How's the show? I don't really care. I don't know. Where... Yeah. It doesn't come across when you look at the old Mork and Mendes. I see them on cable. They're, you look fine. We had fun. The first yeah. couple of years were really fun. The last few years, it was crazy. I knew the third year things weren't going so well. When I was in Denver Bronco, I was a Denver Bronco cheerleader in Mile High Stadium, dressed as a Denver Bronco cheerleader. And at that point, I went, the end is near. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the joke. But the last year, the last year was great because we went out, you know, Jonathan Winters came on the show. And oh, I love Jonathan. Oh, I'm so sad to hear about it. Oh. He, he did make it on the show. He did one. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. the sweetest man in the world. Oh, wow. And what a genius of the old comedy business. Oh, big time. He See, was I mean, it was before you corporate monkeys took over comedy and sucked all the... <laughs> sucked all the... Ooh, la, la. ...joy out of it. Well, he, he, this, this word isn't funny to most of America, and we have some reports here that say that many Americans don't find this word funny. <laughs> What's that coming ago? Always work. Yeah. I think so. I think so. And did you know... And the only guy who can use it in a sentence is Oedipus, you old... Tootsie Fruitsie. <laughs> At that point, you go, okay, boom. Do, have, you ever, have you ever seen any Danish films? Um... <laughs> I'm thinking it was Man of Orange, a Danish film. Um, I, I think it's probably a Dutch film. Du oh, then now it's like Dutch-Danish, I guess I can't just... Well, the Dutch is the, they, they put the finger in the dike to save the country. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> That'll fly, right? Yeah, that, that's a real thing. That that's actually a large body of... Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the big thing. Have you ever been to Denmark? No, I've never Have you ever assembled any IKEA furniture? Never. <laughs> in Denmark, and I've never assembled IKEA furniture in Denmark, which would be the double. That would be the best. That, that's, that's the big one that everyone's after. Am Amsterdam is where everything is oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's where the hash waiter comes and goes, well, have you tried this? Going, not really. <laughs> You been there, Amsterdam? Never. I would, if I, oh gosh, well, it's I, too late now, man. If I if I went there, it'd be over. I'd never leave. I mean, no. where are you? I don't know. <laughs> Although the thing is about Amsterdam, there's all this. It's very civilized as well. There's lots of very. I mean, they've got the big uh, museum there and some other things. Totally. <laughs> what are the other things? I don't know. I was out my head, but but they, you know, not, not like, everyone is out of their mind. Do they have like a red light district with? Oh yes, they have that. Yeah. But the, <laughs> well, there's basically there's a woman up against the window going, "Look at this. How about here?" Yeah. <laughs> No, it's, 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 it's kind of different because what they got is like, it's these women who are, you know, state prostitutes. So, like, <laughs> so they're kind of like doing their knitting or reading the paper or something. Kind of and you go by and they're like, hello. I don't know. Okay. That's, I like the fact she's knitting and also totally nude going, welcome. <laughs> Would you like me to move my scarf? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, how are you? What did you do? The good news is, the good news is that now you're on CBS primetime, they won't censor you at all because they're afraid of you. They're afraid? They're afraid. Uh, you and you, David Kelly, it's a David Kelly show, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, he's a sweet man. He's yeah, a, yeah, he's... Uh, he doesn't laugh a lot. If, <coughs> this is David Kelly laughing like, that's it. That's how you get the intake of breath, just the... Uh, and that's, and if, he, if he outtakes, then that's huge. It's like, ha, ah, that's boom, that's big time. He did that, he's done some good shows where he did Ali, uh, Ali McBeal, did he? No, he did Boston Legal. Boston Legal he did, yeah. Ali McBeal, yeah. Boston Legal, and that's all I know. Yeah, that's, that's all I know as well. But they're, they're pretty good shows. That's why I signed up to do it, with, because with, I had yeah? with him, and I went, okay, good guy to He's see. married to Michelle Pfeiffer, I believe. Yes, he is. Yes. <laughs> she's a nice piece of work she, right she's, there. So she's lovely. She came here, and she's got lovely skin, Robin. Oh. Lovely skin. That's what I've always thought about. It's lovely to have a girl with lovely skin. <laughs> it's nice. What, so we're doing what Scottish hairdressers yeah. now. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> two days, right. Two days. You know, I'd never blown dry in her, but I'd love to do, like, a cream rinse. <laughs> 
just want to get in there with some volume eyes and go, shoosh, shoosh, shoosh. More height, you know, the higher your hair is, the nearer you are to God. That's right. That's what I said, right then. Dear God. It's true. So, uh, back on TV, I'm kind of concerned, though. You're not going to do movies and stuff. You're not going to... Still do, still have yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a couple. Friggin' Christmas Miracles, one of them. <laughs> can, you say, can you say that? Friggin', yeah, better than... Crikey! Christmas Miracles. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> right now... How's your night going, huh? <laughs> He's a very sweet man, but a racist, uh, I have to say. <laughs> But now when you said the country, we don't have to default anymore, which is so great. Well, that's nice. I yeah. thought they were going to print a new dollar bill instead of in God we trust. It just says, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of George Washington, it's a little man from Monopoly going. It's shocking business. Oh, isn't dude. It? This is shocking. I thought they were going to have to do a telethon for America. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I feel very, very bad about this. Oh, oh, all of them. You the grandstand and political. Out, out, go away, gone. Yeah, gone. Do, 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 do. It's a German voice. Go, go, go. Yeah, so everyone. No, no, I no, no, we no, don't. No, do no, that no, that no, 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 no. <laughs> that voice goes away. Yeah. Okay, what about. Get rid of the elected one. Yeah. So much for elections? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no similarities. Just smelling my finger. Yeah. <laughs> I have a German character, a German party clown called Schadenfred, <laughs> who works, works children's birthday parties. So, children, happy birthday to you. So, look at your country, almost about to default. How can you celebrate your birthday right now? <laughs> happy birthday, one year closer to death. Good luck for you. Robin Williams. Robin, uh, are you in therapy? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yes, I am, actually. Well, see, I just thought uh, if you're all fair with therapy, then I could do a bit of therapy on you. I'm practicing. And we can have dueling therapy right now. I could do my therapist, too. We both could be both therapists talking to each other. <laughs> no, no, I, I guess I should be the patient and basically talk to you about this, going, I hear voices, so do I. Shut up, okay. <laughs> I like the idea of dueling therapists. I would like to be Austrian, though. I would be French therapy who goes, whatever happens in life, you deserve it. Get over yourself. <laughs> it's crazy, you know? With this Sigmund Freud, it's the whole thing about his mother. Well, so it's sometimes a cigar is a penis. Get over that thing. <laughs> I don't know. I have a mime cigarette. How French am I? <laughs> Look at you with your I have pipe. an empty pipe. That's why I'm in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us are sucking on nothing right now. <laughs> That's a Nothing left to lose. Nothing left Nothing to lose. Nothing left to lose. All right, there with that soundtrack again. One more time with that soundtrack. Okay, that was good. <laughs> I danced to Craig to a show with nothing left to lose. Okay, we worked out a lot of things with yeah, the therapeutic. Yeah, I like the idea of musical therapy. Like, you go into a therapist and then just you have to just riff. You have to dance, dance like crazy people for a moment and let it out. You know, you can stop that if you want. Okay. <laughs> or do you want to stay French for the whole thing? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not sure. <laughs> you're, you're, that's a therapeutic moment. Yeah, that's right. So, you do want to stay French. Now, I'm a Scottish hairdresser therapist. That's what I, You've so, got lovely skin. I'm a French, French Scottish therapist. They were crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we, can be, we can be two vampires in rehab. <laughs> hey, wait. We can call it type AAA. <laughs> Hi, my name's Vlad. I'm powerless over darkness. <laughs> I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I poop my pants and get arrested. <laughs> When I have a blackout, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing left to lose. Nothing left to lose. Well, uh, that's it. We're done. Serious? Yeah, that's it. What? Oh. Well, don't, I don't make the rules, man. 
I was just obeying orders. They are saying it's done. I have to say. So the show is like this. We had a little fun for a brief moment. The, the moment of our fun was very good. We, we tried many different things, and I feel good about this moment. For me, it was good. <laughs> And, you know, it's I like the Scottish hairdress. I think that's the way me. to go that way. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. And your Chinese gangster who sounds like oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my money? Going back to Beijing. I need my money now. Where's my money? <laughs> Don't make me go Shanghai on you. Yeah. If I go Shanghai, it's bad. Or Chris Walken is a, a Chinese Scottish gang. No, Chris weird. Uh, Christopher Walken, Chinese Scottish gangster. Oh, yours, man. That's ahead of me. <laughs> This accent's strange. I don't know how. <laughs> this is the strangest accent I've ever done. It but I think it's in the category of what? Strudel. Click, fuckers, and ladies and gentlemen. Are you cold? Yeah, a little chilly, man. All right, throw a log at the fire. I, uh... <laughs> <clears throat> it was good to have Robin here, wasn't it? Oh, he's amazing. Yeah, he's amazing, yeah. yeah. He did so much good comedy that we had to cut it out because uh, Michael's a racist. <laughs> Racist. He's a yeah, comedy yeah. racist. Yeah, because when Robin did that whole thing about being a Chinese gangster. Yeah, yeah. We had to cut it out. <laughs> no, I, I, I. Let's do the staring contest with Michael to the end of the oh, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right then. See who cracks first. Are you ready? 